Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to develop a microservice application with Spring Boot and then deploy it into a Docker container. Here we are on this initial page where we are get, going to get our Spring Boot app built. So now let's give it a group name. I am choosing to give, to give it a name as com.todbot.microservices and I will say artifact name we will give microservice demo. Now the Maven dependencies that needs to be included would be web and rest repositories. We are building it with Java and the Spring Boot version we are giving is 2.1.2. Now let's generate the project and get it downloaded. Now that we have downloaded the application in a zip format, let's double click on it so that we get the folder structure here and then we are going to import it in our IntelliJ IDEA IDE. If you have it here, we can see that the folder structure that automatically got created by the initializer page is here. Now we are going to add a controller so that we can have our microservice included. So let's add a package first and call it a controller. And now just for the starter, we are going to build this application and see everything has been downloaded and, and uh, it's running prop stall and then we will run it. Once it's built successfully, we should see a target folder and all the jar files from the Spring Boot web application will be created. So yeah. So now this is this is getting created but we don't like the name so let's get it changed so here is the pom file you can come here and go to in the build, build section and give it give it a name that we like let's call it spring boot microservice let's get it saved delete the content of the target folder and get this thing built again so this time we will see that the jar file will get generated with the final name that we specified it will be helpful when we create our docker image so it is successful now so now that we have the jar file let's try to run this jar file and see how that thing goes so, so basically this is a Java application and it already has built a Java file for us and the Java file location we can see here. The Java file location is under the target folder. So now in order to run this Java file, the command that we will have to use is Java jar and then we have to specify the tar Java file location which should be inside target folder. So now let's try to run this application. Now you will see the spring logo has come up and the application is getting started and it is already started on port 8080. So let's go back to our browser and if we open this application on 8080, we will see this initial page. It simply means that our application is ready to be included with the microservices. So let's go back to the controller part and add a small Java class where we will write our business logic. So for now, we will make this application to simply say hello back to us. So we will do say hello. Okay, and now we will convert it into a rest controller and then add a public method, which will return us a string saying hello back. Okay, so let's return it. Okay, and we will get we will take get mapping. Let's say get mapping. We will save it, then build it again. While we are building it, we will stop the old application that was running and let the build get finished. 
once the build is over we will go back and we will run the application using the same command we did it before and this time when we go back to our browser we should see the high dot body user prompt getting displayed back to us so let's see see now our microservice application is ready now let's get started with our docker file so let's right click on our base project base name and click select file and we will use then we will create a file called docker file with caps d and let's click on ok inside the docker file we are going to write the commands that will help us create the image for our application so now we are going to create our image on top of a base java image so let's say we will need from open jdk version 8 to run our application then we will add our application so for that we will use add and then we will specify from where this application is going to be taken so this is the name of this application so let's copy this name and paste it here and then we will paste the names again because this is going to be the name of our application inside the docker container and now we are go we are going to expose this application through the docker container port 1890 and we will specify the entry point as just like we gave in our terminal when we were running it from a terminal we specified java then jar and then the jar name so this is this is what we need for our docker file now let's try to build the docker image based on the docker file we just created so for that let's open terminal create the terminal and we are going to build the docker image let's see we are in the proper place yes we are in the microservices demo application now let's build the image the image building command will be docker build and then we have to give the docker file with dash s command just like that and then we have to specify a tag it with the image and our image name is microservices dot chart so let's copy it and paste it here and then we have to specify the location of the docker file since we are in the same directory where the docker file is located we will just give it a dot and now let's build the docker image now you will see the docker image is built and it has been tagged with the jar name that we wanted it to tag i have increased the font size a little bit bigger may see clearly how our docker file looks like now we are exposing the application inside the container using the port 8090. Now we have to map this port to our TCP port. So in order to do that, let's, let's go to application.properties file and write server.port and we are going to map the docker container port 8090 to TCP port 8090. We will save it. Since we have made changes to our application, we have to build it again so let's get this application built and once it's ready to once it's built we have to create the docker image once again so now the build is successful we'll go to docker terminal and we will use this command docker build minus f docker file then we are going to tag it with the, with the name spring boot microservices jar and then finally we will specify the docker file location using the dot since the docker file is in the base location of our project so now let's get docker image created now that we have created the docker image we are going to run this docker image using the command as shown here so it would be docker run 
then we are going to map the container port 8090 to TCP port 8090 and then we are going to specify our, our application name. So let's get started. You will see the Docker application is coming up. The application inside the Docker container is coming up and it has started. So now let's go back to our, our browser and type localhost 8090. We should see Toddboard user getting displayed here like this. So just to have a recap of the entire steps we did today. So we built a microservice Spring Boot application. We ran it outside the Docker container in our local laptop. And then finally we built the Docker image and ran the Docker image in Docker container. 